Oh man, oh man. Okay, so this is D Lil back again with another video. And uh, y'all, this situation just could get worse, y'all. And now, this situation just could get worse. Now, for those who saw my YouTube show on this situation, then I came out in another video uh, late, later on during the day about uh, more information that came out with the situation about some of the uh, uh, Honda and Kia. That was, uh that had this uh fighting with problem wasn't part of the uh some of them weren't part of the we call so and I did that video yesterday you took it out my timeline and y'all I just came across this you know what this situation just get worse by the moment y'all so according to this article you see on your screen Kia uh Kia a uh, Kia and Hyundai we call add to a list of whole at my strings of theft now keep in mind, y'all. Uh, car theft is is currently going on right now with Kia and Hyundai. So, Cortez Auto Car Maker and Kia Hyundai have we call the three point four million vehicle due to the potential car that may catch on fire. NBC's airway glitch 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 with report. How this add to the company's whole admire a string of death. Now, now anybody who seen one of my uh, my videos yesterday, I was talking about this. Remember, I was talking about this because I told y'all that this car car uh, uh, they car being we call for fire with is going to uh, add is going to uh, cause some more problem. Because I mentioned this, I literally mentioned this in my uh, previous video. I told y'all. That they still had to deal with multiple cities suing them about the car death. And there's a video to this article. I'm gonna play it for you right now. This is this is exactly what I was talking about. It's the car theft wave sweeping the nation, and big cities are struggling to keep up. The numbers are shocking. In Chicago, for example, thieves stole only 500 Kias and Hyundais in the first half of 2022. But by the end of that year, that number had ballooned to more than 8,300. And this year is on track to be even worse, with car thefts already surpassing 21,000, up 86% year to date. The city says Kias and Hyundais make up more than half. And it's not just Chicago, of course. Cities like Cleveland, St. Louis, and Baltimore have seen a surge, too. Kia boys, stolen car haul. It all started in 2021 when a viral TikTok trend called hashtag Kia boys began spreading across social media. It instructed would-be car thieves on how to quickly hotwire certain Kia models that lacked engine immobilizers. Pull down and then it break it down. This doesn't work with most cars. In fact, 96% of other vehicles sold in the U.S. shipped with immobilizers in 2015. But they're not required and only about a quarter of Kias and Hyundais had the protection. That's why last month Chicago joined several other American cities in suing the automakers, alleging they've contributed to a major increase in crime. Kia has said the suits are without merit, while Hyundai has said all its cars meet government anti-theft requirements. In light of the disturbing streak, Kia and Hyundai attempted a fix, offering a free software update available at dealerships and at mass giveaway events. The update requires the car's key to be in the ignition to start, but there have been reports of cars being stolen even after they got the update. One victim's father telling our Washington affiliate, I would love to find out if the program was actually put in or or that the program failed. When asked for comment, Hyundai responded by saying, our dealers across the country are maximizing the number of anti-theft software installations. Kia told NBC Washington that it's confident the software update works as intended. The car makers built their reputations advertising affordable cars for the... Let me start right there. Why are you so confident that it worked? You know what everything y'all been everything y'all been doing to your vehicle so far hadn't had not had not go going according to plan? See, this is what I'm talking about with these companies. These companies show, uh, be so sure about this stuff going to work. They be even confident that the, st the stuff they do to their vehicle, the update they have on their vehicle is going to work. Even after the previous uh, update they do to the vehicle uh, don't necessarily go as, as well the first time. They got a little bit of history doing that. They think everything... It's all fine and then they, they think the what they do is all what? No, they work the what they do on their car is not perfect. It ain't. 
it's not fit and it's not perfect. They should have learned their lesson by now by doing stuff like that. But let's continue. Average consumer. I'll be there in 30 minutes. That allowed the pair, which are owned by the same South Korean conglomerate, to become the third largest manufacturer in the world at one point. But even though some security systems may work, thieves still target the cars, which could mean a smashed window and an abandoned car when realizing it can't be hacked for a joyride, underscoring just how big of a challenge Kia and Hyundai face. Aaron Gilchrist is joining us now. So you mentioned those lawsuits from these different cities here. What do Kia and Hyundai say about that? So you've got, you know, we mentioned them, some of them, Chicago, yeah. Baltimore, New York City, and, and several other cities as well. And they've essentially, essentially said that in, in Chicago, for example, that there are deceptive practices that are underway with these two companies, that they are negligent and that they are creating a public nuisance by not having these safety features and giving thieves the opportunity to steal these cars. They want restitution for customers. They want people to be paid for whatever damages they've had to deal with they want the car, the car oh yeah a quick side note go check out my uh, video that i wish i did on on, on the car death too remember uh uh a, a, a woman in kansas city uh she got shot in the chest because uh because uh, uh, one of them cars they tried to steal her vehicle and now she got a lawsuit against the hyundai kids as well i did that video go check that video up matter of fact I put link to that video in the description box so you can check that out for yourself. You didn't see that video. So that add, so that add another that add insult to injury the kids that uh, Honda as well. Cause that uh, uh, Kansas City mother, she's suing them as well for the for uh for her all her trouble with her uh, uh vehicle. For her uh Kia. I, I, I'm telling you, it's just a mess with this uh, Kia Honda situation. Eggers to, to put these safety devices, this anti-theft uh, uh, immobilizer, in the cars that are already out there. They were already doing it for new cars, but yeah. they want them in the old cars now, too. Hyundai and Kia have both said, you know what? We think that, that this is not a safety defect that you're talking about here. They've said the lawsuits don't have any merit mm. in so many cases, and they, they have not violated any federal standards by... What they mean? What they mean? See, you see, you see the you see the, 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 the you see the mindset that these companies are taking on. See, that's why they have so much a problem. Violate. See, they worry about violence. No, that's they, see they missing the see, see, see they missing these this, this company. They missing the whole point. They missing the point having these immobilizers in. Now, they've done these software updates to the tune of more than half a million cars in the last year or so. They've also given out uh, uh, the steering wheel locks to help people uh, fr from that perspective. Again, hundreds of thousands of those, but obviously these cities are saying that's not enough. You're in Gilchrist. Uh, super interesting. Thank you very much for bringing us that story. Appreciate it. Okay, you heard the video. I'm going to tell you something right now. The company who make the Honda and, and Kia, they better play. The company who make these two cars, they better play they don't lose their lawsuit. I'm telling you right now, they better play they don't lose their lawsuit because if they lose the, their lawsuit to all them different cities that you saw in this uh, that was that, that 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 you saw on the video, them that company will be up the wall. I ain't lying. That couple gonna be up the wall if they lose all of those uh, lawsuits from them different cities. I still think they missed the point, but they better, but, but they better play they, they they better play they right because you know what? It, they're gonna be up the wall if they lose all their cases against them people. But. As I said, y'all, this this it, 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 it just get worse and worse by a minute with these uh 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 Conde Kia. And what this article of of uh in the video said exactly what I was worried, worried about the most. I figured this was gonna put more trouble on Kia Hyundai by having their car by having three point four million they call for five with, they car be coming for five years on top of the car that they got going on. I kinda figured that was gonna happen. Cause one, like I said earlier, is one of the things I kept talking about in previous videos. But I'll link this article in the description box. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this video, and I'm out.